One of my favorite places to visit in Rome is only a short walk from Trastevere across the Ponte Sisto. The Piazza Navona, a Baroque architectural masterpiece and center for culture and vibrant activity in a city teeming with both. It owes its long oval shape to originally being a sports stadium constructed by the Emperor Domitian in the first century. Since its emergence as a public market space in the late 15th century, the main attractions here have always been the fountains. At the southern end is the Fontana del Moro, originally designed in the 1570s by Giacomo della Porta, with later additions by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. It depicts a Moorish figure standing in a conch shell, wrestling a dolphin while surrounded by four tritons shooting water from their mouths. It's a very subtle design. Pope Innocent X liked Bernini's work so much, in 1651, he commissioned him to design the centerpiece of the piazza, the Fontana di Quattro Fiumi, the Fountain of Four Rivers. The ornate detail that characterizes Baroque architecture is incredible here. You could admire this fountain all day and still not find each and every detail. Seemingly floating above the fountain is the obelisk Pamphilis, brought to the piazza and restored by Pope Innocent X. A 2,000-year-old Egyptian-style piece with hieroglyphs honoring three Roman emperors, the 50-foot granite obelisk is topped with a dove holding an olive branch, honoring the Pamphili, Pope Innocent's family. Yeah, it's nice to be the Pope. He also commissioned Girolamo Rinaldi, the family architect, to build the Church of Sant'Ignace in Agone, but he was eventually replaced by someone outside the family, Francesco Borromini. Mm -hmm.